everybody, so today I'm filming my April favourites. I realise that it is a little bit late on. In fact, it's not late at all, but for me it is. It's coming into May and usually I like to film this on the end of April or the end of the month. But I can't go a month without filming a favourites video because I'm not going to lie, favourites videos are my favourites to film. I've said this many times, but I will keep saying it because it's true. I am obsessed with filming them. I just love how it's so easy to film and also I get to talk about things that I really enjoy which you know I suppose I can talk about quite a lot but I don't know I just like these kind of videos and they're my favourites to watch as well um so let's get in I've actually got quite a lot of things this month and you know I just why am I rambling let's just get into the video okay so yeah and by the way if you haven't already subscribed then please subscribe to my channel I upload fairly often um not really got a schedule at the minute because obviously exams and stuff but i do upload quite often so subscribe of course um and let's just get into the video so i thought i would make a start with makeup and kind of beauty things so i do have four things to share with you and we're going to go in chronological order so the first thing is this mua makeup academy custom color foundation mixer and this is in the shade lightning warm this is a really good staple product to have in your makeup bag i have a foundation at the minute that's too dark for me it's actually next to me here this is the maybelline super stay full coverage foundation that was too dark for me and i had to mix it with other foundations to make it work and i just don't like having foundation that's too dark for you because it makes you look orange and that's not a good look so i went i purchased this it was three pounds and i've never looked back it is amazing i thought it would change the formula of the foundation and not be as good but actually it doesn't at all it literally just changes the color and i couldn't recommend this enough obviously i use it every single day because i use my foundation every day and it literally lightens it perfectly you can add as much as you want as little as you want and yeah it's only three pounds so you don't have to buy really expensive ones of these you can just literally get a really cheap one from mua then i have uh, the big cover liquid concealer this is from beauty big bang and i have worked with them before on a couple of videos where they've sent me some stuff to try out they have sent me some more stuff to try out and a video with them will be going up after this video so you'll see me using this in that video but it is amazing coverage i was completely blown away by the coverage of this it's in the shade number one warm ivory by the way and i just i couldn't get over it i've never tried anything as full coverage as this and it's almost like the kind of makeup that you would wear either on a night out or on a stage it's or you know filming a video it's so so much coverage i just couldn't get over it mine is quite light it's too light for my skin um just to use as coverage in terms of covering blemishes but i actually use it to brighten under my eyes my chin my nose etc which is what i always do anyway and i would highly recommend giving this a go it's amazing coverage really cheap price and as long as you get your shade right it is gonna be perfect so do give it a good go and also if i have a discount code for the brand then i will leave it down below in the description for you to get money off if you do actually want to buy this and then another product is this sunskist sunskist sunkissed metallic bronze blush i've had this for years i got this from primark ages ago you don't want to keep your makeup products too long because you don't want them to go out of date but I love this. This is something I've been using every single day. I use it every day anyway on my skin. What I do is I just grab a fluffy brush like this, dab a little bit on and then just blend my makeup out with it. It doesn't really add that much pigmentation to my face but it adds that slight hint of a bronze and shimmer and just makes your skin look really natural. But what I've actually been using this for is I have been grabbing, where are you? grabbing my bronzer brush like this and i've been taking a bit of this and i've just been kind of popping it on my neck and it literally just makes your neck look so bronzed and golden and especially because i've been tanning which you'll see in a minute um it just kind of looks really nice and i don't know i just like it it adds pigmentation in terms of color and it also adds shimmer so it looks really nice in the summer and yeah i've really enjoyed using that i 100 believe that this is discontinued from primark now 
but I'm sure you can find tubes and things like that if you want to give it a go but yeah putting things like bronzer and things like that down your neck just kind of almost blends it in with the rest of your face just because you put bronzer and stuff on your face doesn't mean that you can't put it down your neck as well because you know you want to blend everything together and the final makeup product is also from Beauty Big Bang and this is their lip crayons this one's in the shade number nine rose taupe this is an amazing color i've got it on today because obviously i just filmed a makeup video cheeky cheeky and this is the shade of it and basically i've got loads of swatches on my hand um but basically if i swatch it on my arm great idea georgie you can see here it's quite dark and you can make it dark if you want to by literally just applying it but you can literally blend it out and it will go as light as you want so you just get your finger blend it blend it blend it and it goes really really light that's what i love about this and i've been wearing this every single day for school quite lightly just kind of this shade and it just looks like a hint of color on your lips well i say a hint it looks like you've got a lipstick on but you know it for me it's not too too dark and i'm obsessed with the formula of it it is a matte lipstick without getting that feeling of a liquid lipstick where it's kind of drying it just looks it just feels like you've got nothing on your lips but it looks nice and matte so yeah i really i think i might actually go back onto their website and buy a few more of these in different colors because i am pretty obsessed with this okay now for kind of skincare bits i have a few little things to share the first one is this here which is the garnier skin active pure intense three-in-one charcoal anti-blackhead wash scrub and mask so this is a three-in-one basically I bought this because, you know, some YouTubers have been using it and they've been raving about it. Obviously, you can't trust what YouTubers say all the time. Um, but if it's not a sponsored video, then you can kind of trust it a little bit more. But this wash, this you can literally just rub this on your face, wash it off straight away and use it as a wash. You can put it on your face, really scrub because it's got like little scrubby bits in it and use it as a scrub. Or what I actually use it for is a mask where I literally use it every day. I literally grab a little bit of it obviously it is black and I start to rub it over my face just gently pat it over leave it on for three minutes give it a wash and your skin it just looks so soft and clear it's a mask that you can use every day because it's not too harsh it's meant for oily and spot prone skin which is you know my skin so it's perfect for me and I just love it literally there's so much product still in here and I've been using it for ages and ages mm, and it smells really good too yeah it smells really good I don't know how I haven't noticed that before but yeah it smells really nice too and it's just kind of a nice thing to treat your face every single day to just a little mask it's not a really strong mask it's just something that you can use daily so i would recommend picking this up if you have oily or spot prone skin because it does reduce the oils um the next day so if i put this on the evening before and i remove it the next day when i go to put my makeup on my skin is not ultra oily then i have actually been getting into tanning recently i got this saint tropez gradual tan tinted lotion ages ago i got it for um probably christmas or birthday like a year ago or something and it's probably out of date now yeah it's definitely out of date now but it still works absolutely fine and i'm not so bothered about it being a little bit out of date um but basically every single sunday i will exfoliate using a body scrub and i'll do that in the bath as soon as i get out i will then pop some fake tan on onto my arms um today is actually sunday so i am going to be tanning tonight so my tan is kind of patchy now it does look you can see it's patchy um it does get patchy after about five to six days but bef until then it's perfect it's absolutely fine it isn't patchy at all um i put it kind of around my neck and shoulders and then on my arms and that is it like I don't need to put it anywhere else i don't even put it on my legs or anything like that because i never get my legs out until for, unless it's like one day a year when i actually get my legs out so there's no point in me tanning them um but yeah it works really really well it is gradual so you put it on and then the next day it will build up and then the day after that it will actually get stronger and then it will kind of retain its color until the sixth day where it starts to go patchy and then obviously you want to scrub it off and apply it again i've only just started using this again because obviously it's coming into summer where you start getting your arms out a little bit more and i like the look of my arms when they're a little bit tanned i don't want anything stronger than this 
I don't, you know, like really strong tans or orange tans or anything like that. So I'm very happy with the colour that this gives in my skin. And then another product that I've been using on my skin is the Skinny Dip um, Shimmering Body Mist. My friend Leanne got me this for my birthday and I've literally used it every single day since she got me it. I spray it on my body like this, like on my neck and on my arms and it just adds a really nice glisten and shimmer. After I've used the bronzer, which is here, I go in with this. And it, you know, I know it sounds like I'm faffing around with my body and I'm just like applying loads of products, but literally each product takes, apart from the tan, this takes about, I don't know, 15 seconds to put on. This takes about five seconds to put on. So really it doesn't take long. It looks nice and glistening. When it's sunny, you just look like you're glowing. And you know, if you've got dry skin, kind of on your shoulders or arms or anything, then this would be a great product to try out. But yeah, I love this and I might just put a little bit on. There we go, that's nicely. And it smells really nice. So yeah, don't think I'd put this on my face because I don't really want glitter on my face. But yeah, definitely a good one for the body. Now for a fashion favorite. Now this is gonna be a bit difficult for me to show you, but my fashion favorite for this month is the leggings I'm wearing. They look like this. They're just plain black leggings from Primark. Say California on them. I just really love them. They fit really nicely. And I just really like them and I've been wearing them a lot. So there we go. Now for food favorites. So this month I've got a couple of new things that I've never tried before, but I am obsessed with. I went into Tesco with my mum and we saw these really cool, well, I say cool, you know, as cool as lollipops can be. They're pretty cool, but anyway. Um, these chubba chup lollipops and they're sugar free anything that's sugar free and it's a sweet or something I'm like hell yeah let me have them obviously you don't want to eat too much sugar in your life because sugar isn't good for you really like you don't need to eat sugar you can get plenty of sugar from fruits and things like that you don't need to eat excess sugar in anything else so having sugar-free lollipops is amazing they have about 20 calories in them each so i just have kind of one of these a day as a little treat it takes me about 15 minutes to eat it um and i don't know i just i just love it it's like i have a lollipop that tastes just as good as a normal lollipop yet it doesn't have any sugar in it so i'm just mind blown really um the flavors are coke cherry and strawberry and i love them so if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to eat too much sugar or you're kind of wanting a nice little treat that isn't unhealthy then go for one of these i found them at tesco but obviously other places will sell them too and then to finish us off my brother went to new zealand a few weeks ago and he brought me back this little kiwi and isn't this just the sweetest thing ever so this is just my final favorite of the month oh also i have been loving watching the program friday night dinner i've been watching it on netflix so funny literally my humor love it my family love it too so recommend watching that if you would like so that's the end of my april favorites give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below and i will see you um for more for more videos so yeah see you soon goodbye